today. Thank you for everything that you've done for me. Great in the soul for most of And I was telling the people this morning about being connected to that vine. We're the branches and he's the vine. And I was telling them how a few weeks ago that um, I've got a pretty powerful microphone on my tablet. And I had went to plug it in, but I didn't plug it all the way in. So it was there. And I didn't know it. And so the video I was taking, it was just, there was no audio on there. And uh, and the microphone, I've got this little teeny thing. And I was thinking, as long as we're connected to the right power source, we don't have to be big to be powerful. We can be powerful as long as we stay connected to him, live for him, do what he wants us to do. And, uh, but if we're not connected to him, we're dead in the water. And I just thank him for all that he's done. I couldn't make it without him. I've told people numerous times, you know, I went through the fire and I wasn't burned. I come through the water and it wasn't overtaken. And I just thank you for all that I've, that he brought me through. Mm -hmm. Jesus came
love him and I thank God oh what a joy it is serving Jesus it's the greatest joy you'll ever find the greatest the truest joy you'll ever find I love him tonight and I praise him thank God he's been mighty good to me but it's worth it he's not coming
uh, Alabama, and she saw a, a video, and uh, somehow I guess she located me on there and, and missed it, but she had asked if we'd sing this song, uh, One Day I Will, and uh, she said that her mom was just, with her everything, she had nobody, it's just her, her mom, her mom's life, one that she has leaving it. I don't know the lady personally, but God does. And God is the one that he, he can do everything. He can heal, he saves, he delivers, and he's a forgiving God. And I just love him tonight, and I praise him. But we'll sing this. Um, I thank God that there's people out there. They, they still know God's been dead. Since I was telling them, I was on Friday, I was talking about Sister Hazel. So she was the first miracle that I had ever witnessed. I had heard about it. I had read about it, but I had never seen it. And I was up the night that she walked by me. She literally was sitting behind me. And then she had a walk like this brother here, Scott. And, you know, and she could tell you the story about her hip was broke twice. And the chip was gone. There wasn't no chip there. It's a place she didn't have a chip there. And it was just swing. And I saw the bruises in her hand. I'd seen her come in with a little crutch. You know, that walked her in and bruises was all in her hands, but that night was different. I saw something that I asked her if she had anything she would like to say for the Lord, and, and I, I used that figure of speech when you pick your mouth across the floor. That was me that night. Because, you know, I'd seen on TV, you know how they say, well, that's not that real what you see on TV, but this wasn't on TV. This lady was sitting right behind me, and, yeah. and she walked past me. They wouldn't take no for an answer, and she walked, they gave her the mic, and she walked right down beside me, and I go, whoa, where's that walker at? I was looking for that walker, see? I was with the people that I had heard it and read it, but I had never seen something that was so real. But that was real. Yeah. And I thought, she got up to the front, and I mean, you could see the presence of the Lord all over her. And I'm telling you what, that was amazing. Yeah. I have seen so much what God has done by being out here at this church. You saw so many miracles, but... I was telling a lady Friday, I said she was the first miracle I had ever witnessed in my life that I had saw for myself. But I was also telling Hazel, Sister Hazel was the first vessel God used to bring a prophecy by my way that man didn't know what we needed, what me and my husband needed at the time. And she got me a prophecy. And, you know, I guess it was just me. I didn't understand all of this. And I wrote down to the date. She said, in two weeks, God's going to bring you financially. Me and my husband was in an automobile accident and neither one of us was working and it done some damage to both of us and we had no money coming in and just what God provided for us, but he made a way. And I thank God for that. But Sister Hazel did not know that. She didn't even, I don't even know if she even knew my name, but I just went to the church one night. She was the one that was playing God and, and I could take you out to the building and the scene is still there and show you exactly where I was at. And my husband still would write it down. To write it down. I said, do you think that stuff really happened? You know, I was just wondering. He said, write it down. And sure enough, right on the day, we had a phone call from our lawyer. And we had enough to pay off all of our medical bills. was tremendously a lot. Now, mind you, when I was asking God to bless us, I never asked for nothing big just to pay my bills. And he paid our bills. I said, pay off what little old bills on our home. And that's all I needed. That had nothing extra to give. I went, I didn't leave my husband. We, we was able to go back to work with my people that blessed us. But I thank God that God is still in business. He's not He's not slack concerning his promises. Right. He still does what he says he would do. Yeah. But it's up to us. He said his promises was for his people. Yeah. Those are righteous. And I love him tonight and I pray. But I thank God that I got a hold of a man that said he'd give me everything. But see, the devil's up there and all he promised you is death. He said that, you know, he would steal, kill, and destroy. That's his promises. But God's got a whole book full of promises for us tonight. And let me tell you, I stand before you and I can tell you, I've had people say you can't live, it's hard to live in the time we're living in a Christian life, but you can live it. You get it, you get sold out, like one said you're killing not, you can live it. No man can stop you. I love the Lord tonight and I, I pray that we're all that does for me, but God is still in business. I think I'm not many years ago this kid, Mr. Heisel, but it's been quite a few years ago that the same God that moved me in is the same God that can move now. Amen. He's still in business. And I love him tonight and I praise him. And I, we could just go on, all of us could go on and on about the good things that God's done for us. And I just praise him. My son is 18 year old and 
As I had to stay up until night, they told us he'd be on dialysis. And Sister Hazel was that vessel that God used her that night. She was preaching and she caught him up with a little ball of oil. And he's been the old king and he's never had a dialysis thing. God, he is supposed to 100%. But we have to be obedient. We have to do what God tells us to do. Yeah. I know I've heard people say, well, why don't they ever tell me anything? Well, can't tell you that this God don't tell you that you don't know something. Right. But I thought about that obedience. If she had not obeyed God that night, you know, I may my baby might be on Dallas with me, no doubt about it. But God is still in business, and I love him. I praise him, and he has done nothing. He's done nothing but good for me, and I love him tonight.
break off with a visitor that are here tonight. I don't know you, but when you come here, you know your family. And I think you're our family. One of you are family, but uh, I thank God for uh, just being able to come out to his house again. It's a privilege.
to have to do with it. Amen. I hear people say, how much did God love us? He took him that old cross, his arms were stretched as far yeah. as he could stretch to show us how much he loves. Yeah. Amen. Amen. The Bible said, God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten son. Yeah. But still, Jesus had a choice. Amen. He could give his life, or he could, the Bible said, he could call 10,000 angels and come and receive him that night. But he chose to suffer and die to, so that we could be saved. Yeah. Amen. He loved us that much. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And even tonight, he's got his hands reached out yeah. Yeah. and say, come on to me. All of you that are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Yeah. Only the only rest they are in this world tonight. Amen. Amen. Serving him. Yeah. Serving him. Amen. And he'll never, until he comes out to his church, he'll always have that hand reached out to that lost boy, yeah. girl, or man, or woman. Yeah. And say, come, and I'll give you rest. Amen. Amen. Take my yoke upon me. Do you hear me? Come on. Take your yoke upon me. Take my yoke upon me. And learn. And after all the people, that harm him. Amen. And even while he's on the cross, he pierced him and sighed. Amen. The ones he beat him, put his spear out. He looked at him and said, Father, forgive me. Oh, That's how much love that Jesus, yeah. amen, had. Amen. For us. If it hadn't been for Jesus, we'd all be lost tonight. Yeah. Amen. Amen. I heard a song they used to sing. If you missed heaven, you missed it all. Oh, you did. When you missed heaven, there's a hell. Yeah. Wasn't made for us. The Bible says it's made for the devil and his angels. Yeah. Amen. It wasn't made for us. When we go there, we're in truth. Yeah. We sent ourselves there. The Bible said, I am the way. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man can make it to the Father but through and by me. Yeah. Come on. And to take the treatment and the bruising and even death that Jesus did for us. That's so much he loves. Amen. He took it because he didn't want to see God's creation. Die and go to hell. Yeah. Amen. And before he put that cross upon his back, the Bible said he was put, put tied to a whipping post yeah. and was beaten Come on. 39 stripes yeah. for her head. Yeah. Come on. Amen. Amen. And the devil, like he was said a moment ago, the devil, the Bible said, come to kill, steal, and to destroy. But he said, Jesus, come to give us life and give it to us more abundantly. Yeah. Amen. If he was left up to the devil tonight, we'd all be in hell. Yeah. Amen. But Jesus cared enough. Amen. That he, and he was being put that cross upon his shoulder. And they said that the history said that when they went him with a cat of nine tails, it was a wheel. With nine strings up from it, with lead on those strings. And when they hit him and got that dirt that bad, they said you could see the bones, the flesh was gone off the bone. Still, yet he picked that cross up, put it on his shoulder, blood running out of his back, and carried that cross to go out the field and laid down his life. They didn't take his life. He gave it so that we could be saved. Because yes. if we could serve him, yes. listen, he said, I'm one that will never leave you. Yes. I'll never forsake you. Yes. But I'll be with you even until the end. So if we're living right and we're serving God, they don't care to die because Jesus was still.
He leaves us. Yeah. But if we are prepared to meet him, amen, the Bible said those that are left and unprepared will drop to the rocks and mountains and pray for the fall of all and hide them from him which is to come. I don't want to be one down the trunk, but I want to be the, one of those that rejoices. Amen. To see him come and re receive God's church unto his seat. Amen. Amen. And we will be judged. The Bible said we were peculiar people, but we are zealous of good works. Amen. Amen. Come on. And you know what he also said? He said, let those, talking about the world, see your good works that they may glorify the Father. Amen. So the Father wants the glory out of us tonight. Amen. 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 And when he went away, amen, he looked back to his disciples Come on. and said, now I'm going to the Father. Amen. The same works that you see me do, you can do it even greater because I'm going to the Father. And the greater works he's talking about was in numbers. Amen. We can be out here, amen, letting people, like the Bible said, see our good works and glory to him. But listen, church, there's a time to come. If we're not ready, we are wished. Anything that we could do, if we just had five more minutes on this earth, we pour our heart out toward him and accept him as we say. It ain't hard to live right. I don't see it hard to live right. Amen. To me, it's the easiest life that you can live is serving God. Amen. He said, this is joy unspeakable and full of glory. Amen. And when you're serving God, it don't matter what you go through with, Amen. There's still praise in your heart Amen. to that man of God. Amen. Amen. Now I was looking at this little fella right here, and I was thinking about my nephew, Chris, that was in a party. Yeah. Both legs broke. Mm -hmm. One of them was shattered. Yeah. Yeah. Multiple ribs, his tailbone, his pelvis bone. They, he couldn't even sit up. They had him laying up like a wheelchair on him. He was laying down. And his arms were broke. And he was in pain. They didn't even want him to take him home. They wanted to put him in a nursing home. He come through them doors there. And I looked on his face and I said, Lord, I can't stand to look at him with the pain in his face. The Lord spoke just as plain a man as you would speak. And said he don't have to. Amen. Yeah. Hey Everybody go over here. Pray for him. He got up out of that walker. I feel like saying, got up out of it. Went to his mom and put his arms around her down and said, I got four girls. Yeah, yeah. sure did. Yeah. He's, He's a helper of the time. He's a savior. And everything that we need tonight, we'll find it in Jesus. Amen. 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 Come on. You hear me? I said, you'll find me. Amen. Come on. Come on. Remember I was in that wreck. It hit my truck and knocked it back so far that it knocked my knee back and it broke my hip twice. Yeah. Right where the socket is there. And they sent me to UK hospital. That's where I had the cancer. Bone specialists come in and finally we well, waited and waited and waited and finally come in and said, ma'am, I said, I see where you beat the odds. I said, no, sir. God bless him. He should have said, yeah, but he said, ain't no way I'm going to touch you. The kind of cancer I have, they said, there will be another knife on me. Yeah. Regardless of what it is. And the course of Lord cancer is not even, as it's from a foreign country. And how the devil got over here to me, I don't know. But the doctor said, hey, you're too eat up. Radiation's not even an option for you. Amen? <laughs> and God performed a miracle. I'll give it to have this church be. That's during the time that a man that gave me up and said, don't even live five pounds. You know what I did just a little bit more than that? I took a wheelbarrow, put it up a gravel as I had there, and grabbed my driveway. Listen, yeah. 
There's nothing impossible with God. Yeah. And he said, all things are possible to those that believe. But he sent me back. He said, no way I'm going to touch you. So I had to have a walker. But I couldn't let my leg touch the floor. They said, you do not let your foot touch the floor. He said, if I fall out of socket, you will be in a maze. I walk. Supposed to run home and lay in the maze. Well, my legs buckled together. I said, I can't do this. I got to go to church. So I got Ricky, my nephew, come build me banisters down the sides of my steps. I hopped down there, holding on to him, so I could get to my walker. And I hopped to church. And I didn't have a, could put my foot in my doors. But I had to hold my leg up and walk like that. And there's bruises the size of these right here on the palm of my hands. Yeah. But I went to church anyway. I stood up anyway. Because mm -hmm. he stood for me, I can stand for him. Right. Amen. And it wasn't a church service. It was a singing. Yeah. 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 I mean, the Lord got me in the right place. Get right. believers in there. They were standing up. They wasn't even seating room in the church right. for the, the city. And they said, uh, maybe you want to say something? I said, no, let the singers go ahead. And they brought me the mic anyway. And when the mic hit my hand, I don't know what to say. But I turned myself up front. And I looked back. I said, there's no mercy. Yep. Yeah. Amen. 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 Live for him. Yeah. Amen. And all he asked us to love him back. Yeah. And he said, if you love him, you'll keep my commandments. But church, I'm here to tell you tonight, the greatest and the happiest life you can live is in Jesus tonight. Accepting Him as your personal Savior. And then, when we accept Him, if we need something, He said, ask. Faith believe it, and you will receive. Knock, and it shall be opened. Seek, and you shall find. So He gives us every promise that if He gives us, amen, to make it to heaven if we go by what He says. Amen? He's your Savior. Amen. But you know her, her grandpa was a Baptist minister, which was good. The only thing he didn't believe was in a woman preacher. Yeah. Yeah. So I run for a while because of him. Then I got to the place where I grabbed some out that bowed hold her back of the pew and he had an altar call. Couldn't get loose. And I was in church in Cincinnati. God sent a man from our zone. And he looked at me that night and he was preaching. I wanted to go and he's like, I couldn't. And he said, sis, come here. When he said that, he broke. I got to the front. A man with a pair of God all over me. A man, that's what kind of man Jesus is. A man, and if we don't serve him, it ain't because he didn't pay the price. It was because we rejected him. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And when he comes, if we don't have him as our personal savior, he's going to say, Depart from me, you workers of iniquity. Never do. Yeah. But if we be obedient to him, his spirit, and serve him, he's going to say, Enter in. For the joy of the Lord, you've been faithful over a few things. Now I make you ruler over me. Amen. 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 Listen, serving God. Is not a burden. The Bible said, Who the Son is set free is free indeed. So we're free tonight. We're free to serve Him. We're free to raise our hands and worship Him. And there are companies tonight that don't have that freedom. But thank God we do. Amen. A lot of people's got on their vehicles. They couldn't serve God. And everywhere they they steal away some her and worship God. And they put them little fish down there. And when you see that little fish in front of their house, you go and worship God. And that was a sign that they were worshiping God. So listen, we got time tonight. Jesus ain't come yet to make it right. Amen. Amen. And he said, Who the Son set free, they're free indeed. Amen. That sin is gone. Amen. And then when that sin is gone and Jesus comes in, he said, ask what you will. 
and it shall be done. Amen. Amen. Can I tell a little bit about you, brother? It's the mercies of God that this little fellow right here is sitting in the house of God. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. If you would see the picture of the car that he was in wreck with, you wouldn't think the smallest animal could get out of it. It's just about my right, brother? But God spurred him. And honey, God spurred him for a reason. That's right. Come on. And he turned his life over to him. You got a testimony. Yeah. And God will really use you. Yeah. You can go around this world and say, Look what Jesus Yeah. Get done. What did God do? He'll be to you. Amen. 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 And all he has to say, you don't have to buy God. No. Just say, Lord, I'm part of my sins. And I'm going to live for you. Amen. I want to become a child of God. Amen. I saw you at the side. Come on. Amen. He said, come on, gee, I'll eat that leg or heavy lady. And I'll give you rest. Amen. But God spurred him. Or he would be here. That car is like that. I saw the picture. God's good to us, huh? Yeah. And he'll spare us. Give us a testimony. Amen. That will spare the swirl. Yeah. Yeah. Because God said, I have no respect to person. Come on. What he's done for one. He'll do for another. Hey, please. He loves us every moment. The same. Yes. We can have what we want from God tonight. Amen. Or we can be changed. You know what he said? He said, You choose this day in whom you're going to serve. You know why he said, You choose this day? Because tomorrow may be too late. They may not be a tomorrow. But they're still a today. Yes. Amen. They're still today. Come on. And I know you're interested in serving God, aren't you? Amen. Still, 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 still. He might take you down on his knees. You don't have to. No. No. I say you don't have to. Amen. You'll be on top of this house. Amen. And God be with you. Amen. All you have to call out to him. He said, I'll be there for you. Amen. I'll be there for you. Amen. You want me to say tonight, honey? He does. Come on. We want to pray for you, honey. All you have to do, you're all right right where you're at. All you have to do is just say, Lord, come into my life and stay. And he'll be right there for you. Now you pray while we pray for you. You will go out here a different man, okay? Now, Father, Lord, right now, God, as we touch this girl, Lord, as we touch it, God, as we touch it, Lord, 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 as we touch it,
What kind of problem could it be in other words? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Did you get your hand, Daryl? Speak to that. Speak to that. I'll just speak that. And I'm going to tell you what the Elsinboro Police God is supposed for me to build this church. I didn't have a key to build it with a box. Don't you see it, Daryl? Yeah. He even gave me a proof of blueprint. This church. I've got children. Yeah. You sure did, honey. Huh? That's how good God is. Yes. And he won't put you for nothing up on the wall. Amen. And they'd be wheelchairs right there, but they had to turn back in, see. When the Lord healed them. But listen, God will always lift you up. Go to him. They'd be says, well, flash would come down our way in my where I live. Everything I have. I take the car up and everything. We know you live around the water, but I've not got down one time yet because I got a home in hell. Amen. That's the way it was. And that happened on September the 9th, I believe it was. And then just now I got to know you back down in my kitchen. And we're getting ready to put the carpet back down. But still, I never got down. Did I complain, church? As long as I got Jesus, I'm satisfied. I said, if I had to go under a rock here, which I don't have to, God said, He'd always feed us. And He'd make a way where there didn't seem to be no way. I said, I'll make a way. Amen? So what are we to worry about? And that happened the 9th of uh, September. And this is the uh, 16th of December. And they just now got my cabinets all back over with the Went around it and fixed it so they guarantee if it's a flash flood or what, it won't ever come back in. Match cost of twelve thousand dollars. It's that fixed. So I said I'm in the end of deeper in debt than it was in my life right now. But I said God I said He'd take care of it. Amen. And He will. Yeah. I'm seventy four year old. I've never had a deal to one page yet. God has always made a way. Amen. God will provide. Amen. Thank God for the service. Get to worship God with my cousin and his wife. There won't be more coming in. There won't be more people coming in. I told somebody that thought, was it you, Anna? I told somebody that. I thought it was Anna. As she sleeps a lot longer than you know what? Everybody be like, you know, laughing and talking. She's in the back just as quiet and all that. I'm going to get in the water too. She goes to sleep. God's good, isn't it? Amen. Amen. Is everybody satisfied? Is everybody satisfied? Let's stand up and give that man up there. The praise, the honor of the Lord. Father, we praise you. God, we thank you, Lord, for this service tonight. Lord, in everything it was accomplished here, God. Lord, it was through and by your anointing, Lord. God, we praise you, Lord, for each one that you. And Lord, we thank you, God, for being in our midst. And Lord, we praise you for everything. Now, Father, as we depart, Lord, you went through separate homes. God, let us be led by your spirit. And Lord, let our life, oh God, ever be satisfied with you. Lord, we ask this in the name of Jesus and the church says, Amen. Amen. Thank God for everyone.